Hello everybody, Johnny Lee Long here, and today I'm bringing something to you that we need to talk about. Oh, you want to know what it is? Okay, let's check it out. Alright, basically, this is for beginners. I always say that, don't I? Shut up, caca. I always say that. But anyway, it's for beginners. Alright, so check it out. We're going to talk about tuners. We're talking about all kind of tuners that we need. I got a bunch of them. Look. Alright, we got the horse tuner. <laughs> Why do you call it a horse tuner? Because when you put it in your bag, it feels like a horse is in your, your bag when you tote it. And then you got your snork. And then you got your E note tuner. And then you got your cord tuner. Alright? question is which one will you use my question my answer is whatever feels good to you if this feel good to you, feel good to you and a lot of people put this within their um stomp cases all right with their all of their effect stuff so it's cool you don't really you know the weight is not a problem because you got it in your stomp box cases and it's part of that case so you're good nothing wrong with having this Unless you just have it by yourself and got it in your bag. And that tells me you're like really old school. Then this. Alright. This was the replacement of this. You had that. And now you got that. Nothing wrong with this right here. It's just. You got to plug it in. And then some of you can have a plug in here. And another outlet plug in like, like that. Alright. So this one's like one of the newer versions. You just plug it in and boom, 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 you're, you get your tuning. All right. And then came the E note. All right. The E note is really cool. Um, you cut it on. You have your molds and stuff like that. You can set it 440 or 335. It has a mic on it, you know, and then it vibrates. It's a vibrator. <laughs> no, it's not. You can set it on mic or you set it on vibrate. Same thing with for the snork. The snork, you can set it on mic or you can set it on vibrator. <laughs> I mean vibrate. Vibrate, what does that mean? Well, you can just put it on your guitar. You take it and you put it on your guitar like this. And you just hit the note. And it lights up. Now, you know, I mean, there, there's so many... Um, different kinds of, of snorks out right now. And all of them are not called snorks. Some of them just called tuners. Clip-on tuners. And that's what they are. Clip-on tuners. You clip them on your bass, you tune your bass up, and as you're playing, it lights up and it tells you, you know, what note you're playing in or is your bass out of tune. The thing with me is, they're so cute. But I keep forgetting them. So I got to hide them in every place. Like if I go to a certain place a lot, like like church. If I go to church, I leave like one at church. And then I put one in every one of my gig bags. Some in my truck. Some in my car. Cars. Um, some of them I just put it in my amp case. <laughs> I throw them everywhere, man. Just so I can have them. But then again, old school is this. And never forget, a piano is always around, always around. So that, that, give me an E, boom, and the ear. Without these here, it was always this, all right? So my thing is you should always trust this too, all right? It may not be 440 all the time, but you can get it right. There's certain ways you can tune your bass. You know, with the E or C or, or D or A or G. How do you want to do it off the piano? That works for you. So to make a long story short, there's my take on all the tuners. Your choice. You can get what you want. Me? Here's my preference, my take on it. Long as it works, it could cost five dollars. I don't care. But as long as this thing gets me in tune on my base, I'm good to go. Don't, don't matter what the price is. Some of these things can get very expensive. Like, you know, $60, $70. Ooh. 
Wow. Five dollars works for me a day. A day. Five dollars works for me a day. All right. So that's my take on it. Oh, make sure you cut them off, guys, uh, when you get through using them because you kill the battery. Although the battery may be a, a buck or two bucks. This takes a nine volt. It's a workhorse, though, bro. It's a workhorse. The good thing about this is you can do guitar and bass. Same thing for this. Same thing for this. And the same thing for this. And that's my take on tuners. Johnny Lee Long. Peace out. Johnny